be nearby. Find them. Uh, don't they ever give nope. up? Nope, apparently not. Hmm? What's wrong? Look, there's a door. Stairs. Looks like we can go up. Let's go. Told you there's a lot of cutscenes after you go through that dragon door. And there's still a couple more, so enjoy the next cutscene as well. Unless I say something. Here till dawn. I told you not to order me around. Your voice is too loud. The Big Dipper. You should get some rest. Shut up! I don't have nothing to do with you anymore. I don't need Yandazu or the money. Go on your own and take revenge or whatever. I was on my own till you came along. <laughs> Who are you trying to take revenge on anyway? Landy. Oh, Landy. Uh, Landy of the Chio Men? You know it? Nasty organization. Tell me what you know. Who is Young Dazu? He used to be the big boss of Hong Kong. I heard he lost it all, though. What about the Phoenix Mirror? The Phoenix Mirror? There was another mirror of a dragon, but Landy took it. Landy took it. Dragon and Phoenix, a pair of mirrors and a chill man. Uh, I smell something really fishy here. And I smell money again. First, we gotta do something about this. At daybreak, we move. Get some sleep now. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry I don't I haven't been talking that much. We've already done eighteen minutes of recording. I really haven't talked that much. But you can't really talk that much over cutscene. Not a not a lot or frequently only occasionally if you have to talk through it. And if they're not talking, I guess. But there will be certain certain cutscenes where I probably won't be talking over. Hey. Hey. Ren. It's morning. Okay, let's get back. Yeah. This way. Uh oh, looks like we got trouble. <gasps> oh, damn. We meet again. I'll rip you into pieces. Ow. 
Damn. How does my blade taste? Damn. Well, we get to see what happens when you mess up. So, here we are. Master Don Yu, I caught the rat. <laughs> you can't get away now. What a mess. <laughs> and they get their ass off. And it's LP. The end. No, I'm just kidding. It's not the end. I'm not even gonna lie. I did. I never know what you're gonna press there. Even though I played this so many times, I was not expecting that. I've never seen that cutscene whatsoever. No, I think it's down and right. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna lie. I got nervous as well. I'll rip you into pieces. That was my, I'm not gonna lie, like I already said, that was my first time seeing that cutscene. Run, fat man, run! Emergency exit! What luck! Uh, oh. Whoa! Oh. Got the kidding! Gotta jump over there! Are you out of your mind? Apparently, right? Apparently. Come on, got to do it, Rand. Come on. Up, up, A. Don't ever think that you can catch me so easily. So I love how... Once I start recording again, I feel that fart for that part fart. Damn, what the fuck? That part for the very first time. That's I find I've never seen that kind of thing. That was weird. Usually I don't. Usually I don't fail QTs like that. Usually I'm good at them, but apparently this time I sucked. LP curse for the win. Go get Wong. What do you want with Wong? He's gonna get these off. He's a pro at picking locks. Get moving! <laughs> right away. Long, we've been waiting. No, what are you doing here? Long story. Never mind about him. Quick, get these off. First, promise me. Huh? If I get these off, I want you to bring Yo back to Wan Zai. Hold it. I've still got some business here in Kowloon. Sure, Wan Zai or anywhere. I'll take him out. So hurry up and do your job. It's a deal. Bring you back to one side. What are you talking about? Huh? First we go to Young's place. 
badass had a deal going with Don Yu. He won't get away with this. Yo. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Don't worry, little boy. You wouldn't understand. It's a grown man's business. You know he's like 18 or 19. Who knows how old he is. I think he's like around that age. Now it looks like we're back in Dragon Street. Cool. And more cutscenes. Oh my god. The misery. Hey. Joy. You two know each other? Does it matter? You didn't even tell me that you were leaving Hong Kong. Uh, yeah. Huh? What's going on here? What business have you got in Kowloon? I have to... Don't know what's going on between you two. But we've got somewhere to go. So do the talking later. Ren, are you up to something again? Shut up! I said later. Hey, let's get moving. Yeah. Whatever they're up to. Follow me. We're going to Great View Herbs. I'm gonna make that young pay. Mm. Yeah. All right. So now we're back to free. Freely, roamly talk. And now, since I last one time I recorded, I had something to talk about while we were waiting. But this time, I really have nothing. To, actually, you know what? There is one thing I can talk about. I was gonna just cut ahead. What I find weird about this, the why this game didn't sell well, even though it got good reviews. Now, today in modern, our modern age. If we see a good review and we see it's really good, we're gonna go ahead and um, go uh, get it because we thought it was, got really good reviews. Well, sometimes I guess and based on reviews. And this, this game came out in like 2001, 2002. I forgot the year. I think it's 2001. This game got really good reviews. Just look, on, look on Wikipedia and you'll see for yourself. Uh, I think it's based off the Dreamcast version, though I'm not sure. It might be the Xbox version as well. This game is hi highly criticized, though, for its voice acting. And it really didn't sell well in North America. I think it, it sold really well in Japan for the Dreamcast. But it did not sell well here in North America. And one reason, probably, maybe because maybe people didn't have a, a lot of Xbox at the time, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, but uh, I just find it weird. That's another reason why Shinmu 3 is probably not going to come out. They're probably, cause the game got, got had a, it took a huge budget to make. Hey, it's this way. Took a lot of money to make for one and two. It did not sell well in the end, so I don't. I don't think they really want to make a take a huge risk on it again. 